Hello Storyboarders, my name is Eric and today I'm going to show you how to make a newspaper project using one of Storyboard That's pre-made worksheet templates. So let's get started. First we're going to pick out a template that we like. Now we have a bunch of options on this page, uh, but I'm going to pick this one. All you have to do is click the copy template button below and this will bring you right into the Storyboard Creator, which will then prompt you to give your worksheet a name. So I'm just going to call this template one and then click continue. All right, now it's time for us to customize our worksheet. This is where we get to add characters, items, update text, whatever it is that we want to do. So I think I'm going to have a theme for my newspaper project, which is going to be baseball. So let's put in a baseball character. So if we go up to our characters menu and go under sports, we can find ourselves a baseball player. All right, let's go with this guy. Just drag and drop your character into your worksheet. And now we get to customize. This is where we get to update facial expressions, poses, colors, whatever it is that we want to do. And this baseball player has a lot of fun baseball extra poses. So let's add those. And when you're all done, just click update pose. All right, there's our character. Now you can move them anywhere you want in your worksheet, as well as resize them. Just drag the corner of the image, oh, wrong image. And you can stretch them to be bigger or smaller, whatever you want to do. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now I don't need this image in the back, so let's delete that. And I would like to have this cropped so I can see the text behind here. So select your character, and in the right-hand menu, you can select Crop. Now in Standard Crop, all you have to do is just drag the bottom of this box up. Now we have a nice transparency so we can see everything that's behind our character, so I know where I need to drag it to, which is very helpful. When you're all done, just click OK, and there we go. Now next is items. Now you can browse the items category or you can search for a specific item in the upper right hand search menu. So let's see what we have for baseball. All right, we have a bunch of options. Now our baseball player already has a bat and a ball. So let's give him a glove. Here we go. Just drag the item that you want. And just like characters, you can change the size and move it around wherever you would like. All right, now I'd like to have our baseball player in a baseball scene. Now you can search our scenes menu, or you can search it in the upper right hand search menu just like you did with the items. Now since we already have this up, let's just grab this baseball field right here. Just drag and drop. And I want this to say small in the box, so I'm going to rescale this manually. So I'm going to position it just where I want and make it a little bit smaller so it fits in the box. All right, let's go about there, and then we're gonna crop. Just like our baseball player, just drag the side that you want to crop out, click OK, there we go. Now, this is in front of our baseball player in the glove, so let us send this all the way back to our worksheet, and then we're gonna bring it forward until we see it. There we go, great. Now, I would like to change the background color. White is nice, but it's a little boring, so let's go up to our scenes. And I'm going to add just a solid color. So if you go to Patterns category, you can grab one any of these nice opacity, like low opacity images. So I'm going to grab this gray, just drag and drop it into your scene. And then uh, we're going to stretch to fill so it fills it easily. Let's click this and hit OK. All right, now when we have our scene in place, we're just going to send it to the back. And now we can see everything. Perfect. Now, last but not least is text. Now you can edit any of the pre-existing text boxes. All you have to do is select, highlight what you want to change, and put in your own words. So I'm just going to call this Classroom News. You can also change the font as well as its size. All you have to do is highlight what you want to change, and then go over to your text editor, and let's grab a new font. Uh, I like this one right here. It feels very newspaper oriented, very baseball themed. And let's make that a little bit bigger. I can go bigger than that. All right, I think that's a good size, but if we notice, it's now on two lines and it's outside of this nice uh, banner. So just like characters and items, we can change our size. And with some text boxes, you can actually stretch them. There we go. Now everything fits really well. Perfect. Now when you're all done making the changes to your newspaper uh, worksheet, all you have to do is click the orange save and exit button. And that is how you make a newspaper project using Storyboard That. All right, thanks for watching and happy storyboarding.